A federal judge has temporarily blocked the state of New York from mandating its medical workers to be vaccinated. 17 healthcare professionals sued the state because the mandate did not allow for religious exemptions. New York says that it is considering its legal options. As health care costs continue to rise, health sharing ministries such as Solidarity Healthcare provide an alternative way to cover, cover health care expenses while aligning with Catholic beliefs. The organization facilitates money sharing between its members to help pay for their medical bills without financially supporting medical procedures that go against Catholic teaching such as abortions. Joining us now to discuss this is Chris Fattis, president of Solidarity HealthShare. Chris, welcome. Great to Thanks see for you. Me. Absolutely great to have you on. So tell us a little bit more about your group, why you started it. I understand mm -hmm. it was deeply personal to you. Yeah, you know, my, in 2011, my wife was diagnosed with colon cancer, and so we were thrust into the medical world and insurance and, um, you know, lots of issues and really found, especially because her, her disease was very advanced, she had about a two-month pro prognosis, um, that it was very hard to get anything other than just a standard of care that wasn't going to save her life. And we uh, we struggled with insurance, but we also found that we needed to get care that they weren't going to pay for. So at one point, we raised money, and we raised a lot of money for her care, and she it, it extended her life. She lived 17 months, which we would say is a win, 15 months more with our children. And, um, and so as we went through that, we just thought, oh, this is so much better. Like having a, a little old woman from, you know, Wisconsin send $5 and say, I wish I could do more. And having, you know, this, this experience of Christians sharing each other. Um, it was this experience of almost like the communion of saints of how we're supposed to come together. And then when the Affordable Care Act mandates came out with, you know, forcing us to pay for contraceptives and abortifacients, um, we knew there needed to be a solution. And, and, and health care sharing seemed like the right way to do it and really seemed like what we as Catholics were probably called to do all along, right, is come together, bear each other's burdens and support each other. Um, and so that's what we've been doing. We've been been at it for five years now, and, and God has blessed us with a lot of great members and families and great stories of how we've come together. Yeah, that's wonderful. Tell us a little bit more, you know, how is it different from health insurance? Yeah, you know, our, our families do health care differently in the sense that we, instead of paying, you know, exorbitant premiums, we instead, we contribute a monthly amount, and then we share each other's medical expenses. So as those monthly dollars come in and the medical bills come in, we match families together. Uh, they actually get to see it in their portal, who they're sharing with. I get to know exactly where my dollars went, what family it went to. Um, I can send them a little note of encouragement. They can say thank you. Um, and, and they're able to, to share their bills. But overall, it's, it's very similar in the sense that bills come directly to us from the provider. We go through and process, make sure it's all eligible for sharing, especially when it comes to the, you know, the ethical guidelines that we have. Um, and then we share it among the members. Uh, and the provider gets the payment directly from the ministry on behalf of the members. Okay. It, it really, I mean, it almost sounds like health insurance, even though it's technically not. Right. What's covered under the plan? So it's everything, all the traditional things you'd imagine, preventative care, wellness visits, cardiovascular, acute care, emergencies, cancer care. Um, a lot of people think, oh, well, there must not be cancer patients. We have a ton of members who unfortunately have gone through that. Um, and I think we've been able to do a great job supporting them and, and caring for them. But also a lot of things that are uniquely Catholic, things like uh, vasectomy reversals, tubal, like tubal ligation reversals, uh, NAPRO technology, the life-affirming fertility care. Um, we, we also share into mental health. We just announced uh, as a ministry that we're going to start sharing into to pharmacy, into prescriptions, and, and which is something health sharing doesn't traditionally do. So we share into all of those things. Um, it, it's really comprehensive. I mean, there's, there's not a lot that people would be left without. Uh, and ultimately, the families get to make the decision of what kind of care they get, where they're going to go, and we help them through that process. Yeah, and are there certain guidelines that people have to adhere to? Yeah, you know, we, we certainly expect that people are, we, we, you know, there's a, there's a religious exemption for health care sharing, so we want to make sure people are of like mind and faith, and so they agree to our, our shared beliefs. Uh, we are very clear that we are faithful to the teachings of the church, so we won't share into things that aren't. Um, and we find that that's actually a big win for a lot of families. We've got a, a lot of stories of families where we were able to inter intercept something uh, recently, we had a family that they had no clue that a physician was planning a potential termination of, of one of their twins, um, and we were able to intercept that and let them know what was happening and stop that from happening, and the family was able to advocate for themselves as well. And those twins are still thriving in wow. utero, right? So uh, there, there's a, a very clear set of guidelines, um, but ultimately we allow people to make their medical decisions within that, that framework. Yeah, talk about that, you know, the community and why that's so important. 
Yeah, you know, again, I, I think one of the big things is knowing where your healthcare dollars go. You know, for a lot of people, my family included, there's several times of the year we, we haven't done anything. We haven't gone to the doctor, we haven't had any expenses, and, and we're all paying out for something, right? So knowing, first of all, that those dollars are going to the good of another family is, is a great thing. Seeing how my family is supporting someone else. Also seeing that other people are supporting us. The other piece is, we, you know, we have this, this uh, prayer stream on our, on our portal for our members that we introduced last year. And it's incredible to see the community that's formed around people coming in and saying, hey, please pray for my husband, he's going into surgery. Please pray for my daughter. And even sometimes praying for things that have nothing to do with healthcare. Please pray for my sister who's going through this. And, and there's this sense of community that's built around that. And ultimately, what I learned when Angela was in her cancer treatment was that's what we needed. We didn't need bureaucracy. We didn't need red tape. We didn't need all of those things. We needed people who care, uh, which is one of the reasons why our staff, it's one of the jobs they're supposed to pray for our members. Their, their job is to make sure we know who to pray for. They pray twice a day in the office, plus well, you know, throughout their day. Um, and they're able to, I mean, there's times when I walk in and see our staff just on the phone praying with members. Uh, so that, that sense of community is something that's been missing from healthcare for a long time. Uh, it's certainly something that we as Catholics are, are good at if we want to put our, our minds to it. And so we, we really love that part of what we do. That is so great. We're almost out of time, but if people want to get more information, how can they do so? Yeah, definitely visit us at SolidarityHealthShare.org. That's where all the information is. You can find out a lot more. Uh, and then uh, contact us uh, to, you know, by phone or by email through the website. Um, we have a lot of people there to help you understand health sharing, explain even more how it works, and, and make sure families understand it before they join. Great. And I'll also put up that information on my Twitter site, too. Awesome. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate Thank you it. so much for coming on, Chris. Thank you for what we do. We appreciate it. Thank you.